Hi, welcome to our channel. That's my channel. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a massive Dollar Tree haul, and since it's so big, I decided I needed two helpers. And this is Fabian, Romy's dad. And Romy is now crawling and standing up by herself and moving everywhere. And I know you guys want to see her, so. I've got him to help her, she'll just be everywhere. <laughs> hey, yeah, you want to say hi? hi? You want to say hi? <laughs> yeah? So yeah, she's crawling now, she's just getting so big. Um, what else did I have to say about her? She's cheeky. <laughs> She's got separation anxiety just now, that's why she is in my craft videos because she just wants to be beside me so and I need to craft. <laughs> so, and um, well it worked out because you guys like seeing her wee chubby hands. You want to say hi? You want to smile? No? <laughs> She's talked so much until it comes time for the camera. Okay, right, so the first thing that I got was um, these stickers. You guys have seen me use them so many times. They just look so pretty. Not like that, but <laughs> cheap like that. But when you paint them, they just look so nice on your project. I just used them in two of my Halloween videos. And then I also got these. They are wax sealed. And uh, they have uh, the Fleur de Lis on it, which is suitable for Fabian's last and Louis's last name, St. Louis. He's trying to give me it for a last name, but. Wow, put the full name out. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Fabian St. Louis. <laughs> um, yeah, but I don't know yet. I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> Anyway, they have lots of pretty colours. I don't know what I'm going to use them for, but um, I thought I would pick them up anyway. And then the next thing I got was these um, learning books. This one is a Disney one. It's addition and subtraction. And uh, it's just basic maths, problem solving, review activities. And uh, it's got like cars. And stuff in it. These are for Ethan, but I think um, just workbooks. I think I'm gonna go back to that store and uh, pick these up for Romy because um, I want to get her start. I'm not in right now, but soon I want to get her started on learning all that stuff before she goes to school. And this one is a multiplication one. It has the table on the back. And it also comes with a dry erase marker, so you can use it over and over again. So, um, it's going to sit Ethan and have fun doing that, but he won't. <laughs> but he's going to do it. And then this one is an addition one, just the same. And then it's got a table on the back, the dry erase marker. This is another Disney one, Time and Money. They also had, they had the one like for the boys and they had Disney princesses for the girls and um, they had a bunch of other ones but he didn't need those ones. So it starts off with all the clocks and the time and then the back is got um, the money. And then also got another dry erase board and that is just so we can practice letters and stuff. You, you know what I noticed? I have, uh, because I was looking for the educational stuff for a while. I noticed that, like, they're not at the five, the, the Dollar Tree Plus. They're at the normal Dollar Tree. You find more educational stuff at the normal Dollar Tree. Yeah, but when, uh, I, we went to different Dollar Trees um, in another town, mm -hmm. and oh my god, one was so good. I'm just going to keep going there had so many things that I was looking for and that's where we found all those books and our Dollar Trees where we live, are, we have so many of them but none of them are that good. 
Yeah. Well, someone will fix me some of them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got these books for Romy. It says, inspire others. Follow your dreams. Believe in yourself. And focus on the good. So, um, I'll enjoy reading those to her. And uh, she likes to eat them, but I'll still read her them. <laughs> Wanna see? Uh, also, I've been looking for these for uh, well over a year. Because I wanted to put them in my lanterns, but I could never find them. I probably should have picked up more than two. But you get two in each and it is the flexible cutting mats. Um but now I know where to get them <laughs> in that one dollar shoe that was really good. It was in Coral Springs, which is like twenty minutes from us. Um in Tamarack, yeah. Oh, it was in Tamarack? No, it was in Coral. We went to both. The first one was in Tamarack. Tamarack yeah. yeah, that one wasn't good. But I did get all those Christmas trees in that one. So I bought this um, pumpkin, I seen people haul it and I couldn't find it and I found it in that one Dollar Tree. So I was really happy because this is my dream house, that old black spooky Victorian mansion. One day we're going to live in one. I think not. <laughs> I'll just live there by myself, I don't care. But one day I'm going to live in one and I hope it's haunted and I'll love it. No, thanks. <laughs> um, and then I've been looking for uh, this for years now, and I know they come in other colours, but I found one, just this one in that Dollar Tree, and it was a white one. And on the TV, it looks so much bigger than this. So I still like it anyway. Um, but yeah, I was so shocked to finally find it. Funny what silly things that you want. I got another one of these skulls. This is for next year, but I'm going to do the DIY for it soon because I want to have it in my head, so I want to make it, but you guys won't see it till next year. So sorry about that. <laughs> um, also got a fishbowl. Um, the first Dollar no, the second Dollar Tree we went to, they had the smaller size as well, and I meant to pick them up but I didn't put them in my basket and then this, the third dollar tree I went to only had this size so I have to go back and get the smaller size as well for my DIY idea and what else? What's the other stuff? Oh yeah Oh yeah, so I got three sizes of these bottles and then these ones and these are for Halloween next year and for my little rooms that I do. But um, before when I was looking for them, I couldn't find them. So even on Dollar Tree, you've got to pick this stuff up as soon as you see it. So these are for next year. And I got a wee birdhouse. I was going to make, I don't know, make it over for Christmas. I think I have an idea for it. And oh, the other Halloween stuff I got was this Vampire oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ashes bottle and um, it's got a wee spider on it Then I got Mermaid Tears and it's got a wee burlap skull This one is Spider Legs, it's also got the wee skull on it And a Crow's Feet um, has a wee spider on it so I'm going to make these over, then I'm going to keep these wee things that's on it. I keep them for Halloween. But I'm going to make them over soon, so you'll see them soon. They're not going to be Halloween though. What else? Um, so I've been looking for these for a while as well. I saw people call them, but it says Market Fresh Flowers. And bloom where you are. And uh, I really love the shape of these. They had loads, but I only picked up two. 
So maybe go next week and get some more stuff. I'll pick up some more. Um, but yeah, I really love the shape of these. I wish they didn't have this market fresh flowers on it. Um, don't know why people still love market fresh. What's it in farm fresh? I'm so sick of seeing those signs. <laughs> Um, but everybody likes different things, like I like black gothic stuff and people like market fresh flower signs, so I've got to have something for everyone. Um, I also got this Halloween sign and um, I'm going to make it over, but I did like the black wood on it. I'm not doing any more Halloween DIYs this year, it's going to be Christmas stuff and tower block stuff from now on. Because, believe it or not, I still have loads of tower block ideas. I don't know where they come from, but I still have loads. Oh, also in that Dollar Tree, I was looking for these for so long. And that is the wooden plaques. Definitely will be doing something with these for Christmas. I'm not sure yet, but I got two of each. So, yeah, I'm happy I found those. You can do loads of things. You can stain them, paint them, stencil them. Um, what else did I do? What other one of those? Okay, so this is three things. Where's the other one? I don't see it. Oh, here it is. Everything's in a big pile. Uh, so they had a different coloured um, buffalo check for these. And they had different... Did they have different? Yeah, they have different designs on them, but the other colour I didn't want. I wanted these colours. So this is the stag and the baby deer. It's a deer and the Christmas tree. And these are wood rounds. I mean, they're not real wood rounds. Well, this is a snowflake anyway. There's one of my heroes. <laughs> it's a snowflake, and I thought these were really nice. But yeah, it's not a real wood round. It looks like... No, it's foam. Ah, it's foam made to look like bark. Anyway, I like those, so I'll be using these in a DIY. That I haven't thought of yet, but I think of something. I've seen this Noel. I picked it up. They also had the white and black buffalo check, and they had the word snow, and I don't know what else they had. Maybe that was it. Noel and snow. Oh. So I've seen people haul these wee books. These wee boots. Um, so I was looking for them, but I didn't find them. But I did find a wee ice skate, and you could take the, the plastic off and make it into a boot if you can't find the boots. Uh, but I think what I'm going to do is make the use some rub and buff and make the blade silver because I don't know why it's brown, <laughs> and I think that'll look much better. And they had this in the black and white check as well. And then I got a wee star. They also had that in the other, the black and white check. And then there is a Christmas tree. And they had, they had some other shapes, but I can't remember what they are for right now. I also found this, it's like a clip. And it is a wee bird and it has real feathers on it. If I'd realised that I probably wouldn't have bought it. Um, so yeah, anyway it's cute. They had ones with wee presents on it and I think they had a white bird. So yeah, I got that. And then I also got a stag. Um, I don't like the glitter on it. I'm going to see if I can either scrape the glitter off or wash it off. 
I don't know if I'm going to use this book, this back part, but I did buy it for the stag head and um, if I can't take the glitter off I will just paint over it, but I wish that they made them without the glitter. Um, oh, I've got another wood piece. So I was looking for, I only found one. I was looking for these wood pieces for ages, couldn't find them, so when I found one, I just picked it up. Um, yeah, she's been talking a lot in the background. Yeah, are you talking now? Talking, talking, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. Oops, I got it. This is the quietest baby has ever been. <laughs> uh, Everybody's saying she's so loud in the last video. He's the loud one and I'm the quiet one. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. But except for he's been quiet now for this. No. I'm, I'm keeping Romy calm, you know? Yeah. She, she wants to... She wants to crawl all over the place and yeah. you guys want to see her. So Actually, she wants to display the crap. Won't you give it to her? She'll eat it. <laughs> there you go. See, she's licking her lips already. Right, talk about it. Oh yeah. Well, you tell. You, you found... So yeah, I found um um these um they, what they call taper candles. Taper candles. So I found these taper ca candles at Dollar Tree, and I thought they're pretty cool because they have the suction cup where they can stick on the wall, and it's um, battery operated. Yeah, so it's perfect. It's um, and portable. And timer. And their it timer, says, right? Yeah, it says they stay on for six hours and go uh, off for eighteen hours. Uh, mm -hmm. So I thought, yeah, that's quite good, actually. Yeah, I, I like it. I'm, I'm excited to see what she's going to do with this. But um, we'll I'm going to stick one. I'm going to make one the bottom bit silver on one and stick it on that skinny wall sconce I just made. That's what I'm going to do. Because somebody left a comment saying it would be a good one taper candle. So thank you, because that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with the other one, though. Mm -hmm. so, you yeah, you, or you want to tell them about the stuff? No, I don't, I don't know these Dollar Tree stuff. <laughs> what is the Christmas tree? Uh, I'll hold her, you tell her about the stuff. Okay. Um, oh, baby. Here we go. So, I got these Christmas trees. A big one and a smaller one. Um, yeah, I got a bunch of Christmas trees. I'm going to show them all. We need a new Christmas tree. No, we don't. We've had that one for five years now? Nothing wrong with that. He doesn't like it because it's a skinny Christmas tree. And he also didn't like the neutral Christmas decorations. Oh. He said it looked like a cardboard Christmas. Whereas I thought it looked nice and cozy. And he liked the blue glittery bubbles Traditional, and the traditional. No, traditional. No, I like it. Well, winter. Well, yeah, yeah, it's winter. Oh, winter. Yeah, the winter. living room is blue. Someone's favorite color. Right, right. Um, and uh, yeah, so he likes those ones. He didn't like the cardboard Christmas. <laughs> I did. Um, I really like the neutral, and um, I'll definitely put it up again um, next year. But this year, I'm going to do traditional red and green, I think, for, for it. And then I'll just do a different color every year. Like, I wanted to do a black gothic Christmas one. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> anyway, I can do that in my craft room. Right. Yeah. Uh, Stay so tuned I, for the craft home tour. Christmas craft home tour. <laughs> oh, I could do that. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. So I got this Christmas tree. It has different colored beads on it. And they also had ones like that. They had different colored ones. And then they had ones with like a beaded garland going round, but I just decided to pick this one up. I also got a gold one. I actually did get a black one last year, it's in my craft room. Um, but I'm going to get a bigger black tree and then maybe this year I'll make some black gothic decorations. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, gold one, and uh, I saw these trees, and I just thought the colours were really pretty. They have my hair stuck to them. Mommy keeps pulling my hair out, <laughs> grabbing it. So they have like this purpley colour, 
a pink color and then I got one red one. But I don't know if I'm gonna keep it with them. But I'm gonna do something with these. Um obviously it's not going with the traditional colours, but I just thought they were so such pretty colours that I picked them up. And then I got two packs of these gold ones. And they have three bigger trees and three bee trees in them. And then I got some white trees. It's the same three big trees and three wee trees. And I might put them with pink trees. I'm not sure yet. Maybe I'll put the gold ones with that. Oh, and a green tree. Did I show a green tree already? No, anyway, green trees is exactly the same. I get six in a pack. And I see these every year, these wee sleighs, and these are like tea light homebirds. So I got red one and a silver one. Um, I might change the colour of the silver one, I'm not sure yet. But I think these are so cute, and you don't have to use them for tea lights. You can make these presents or something to put in them, or something else, I don't know. <laughs> I also got these berries. And I thought the colour of them was nice and they're shiny. They also had these, but they had uh, snow on them. I was going to get them, then uh, I don't know, I decided not to pick them up. And I got some Christmas green, this is red, green, and cream. And I thought that was nice. So Yeah, I like the traditional colours, especially since it's Romy's first Christmas. Right? Oh yeah, I'm so excited at the first Christmas. Because yeah. all the other kids are older and they're not that bothered about it anymore. Like Ethan's eight, but he's not. He's still looking forward to Santa Claus. Yeah. Um. But yeah, it's her first Christmas. I'm gonna get lots of presents, and now she um is gonna be able to open them and stuff by herself. So that's good. Because when I had my son. He was only four months when it was Christmas, so it wasn't it, well, his first Christmas wasn't exciting at all because he wasn't doing anything. And then I had to open up the presents that I bought him. She's gonna help open up everything. Yeah, I know. No, oh, pick you on. Pick you on. <laughs> okay, so um, I also got this ring, which has a felt green leaf on it and I don't know what I bought it for <laughs> <laughs> I just bought it because it's like I'll use it for something oh my god we just go crazy when we go to Dollar Tree just buy everything I do only that one because it had so much good stuff I could have bought more stuff you know but hopefully we'll go back next week make it make sense <laughs> <laughs> go next week and then get some more stuff I also got this. I know that I could just make that, make this because I have tassels and have beads. But I thought I would just buy one anyway. And then Hedian found these as well, which is some fairy lights because he knew that I was looking for them. And yeah, then, I, I think there's tons of ideas you could use them for, especially with the the Dollar Tree blocks. Yeah. The blocks. Yeah. I suppose, but I was going to use them to make a Christmas ring. Oh, oh, a scene. Oh, yeah. scene. Okay. Um, to light up. Okay, we'll like when they light up. Um, and I was looking for these last year and I couldn't find them. So I got one, four of them each. Oh. I don't know. I'll have to check. Anyway, it is the Wee Angel. They're wooden, they got wings, but you can take the wings off and use these for feet or um, just you can use them on other projects. They don't have to be, they don't have to be um, angels. And then the wee Christmas trees, it's the same for them. And you can use them for feet and other things. And then I got the snowmen as well. And they're the same, you can just use them. They don't look like a snowman when they're upside down. So I think I'll use some a snowman and then I will use some in other projects. Oh, we're almost finished, baby. 
Another gothic skull thing. Yeah. <laughs> no. Well, I got the um, the iridescent one, and then I wished I'd picked up a black one as well. Oh, stop doing that! So I picked up the black one, and I'm gonna make it into a platter as well, and put it in my craft room with all my beautiful gothic stuff. Stop pulling my hair. You also found a few reindeers. The five plus. Dollar Tree Plus, $5. <laughs> $5. Sorry. Um, you get gold ones and you get silver ones. These are like grey and they're like brushed metal. And um, this was the only two that was a set. The other ones were just either a small one or a big one and I wanted both of them. So I got those. I don't know if I'm going to leave them that colour or if I'm going to make them over yet. I haven't decided. Yeah, I'm not sure which one's Rudolph. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. We also um, picked up some diffusers, right? I keep searching for diffusers and I found them at the Dollar Tree Plus section. And these are LED uh, diffusers and they were only five bucks. Wow, what a deal. Um, <laughs> no, it's because I keep looking for them and I'm like, oh my God. But yeah, anyhow. they're so expensive at the mall. Like, yeah. And I can't even smell, so I don't really care about it. Yeah, so I was excited to grab these and I got the. I always Jack just brought up the eucalyptus, is that right? Yeah, <laughs> the eucalyptus oil. I like this. I like this scent. And um, I'm going to use it now because um, we bought it a few days ago, so we had to do this haul video before we could use any of the stuff. <laughs> so that's why I'm in this video as well. So I want to use this. Let's go. <laughs> oh yeah. So that was only oil that he said smelled nice. He said all the other oils smelled horrible. I mean, it's, it's not it's not what I would prefer, you know. But I I definitely will um, buy additional oils, um, you know, maybe somewhere else. But the most important find for me was the diffuser. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Sorry about this. Had to uh, stop a train. Oh, let's keep going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what's next? Um. Uh, so my craft room is totally full of crafts that I've been making over the last couple of years and uh, so I've been listing stuff on their website. You have a website? Shut up Fabian. Do you? Oh my god. I don't know. But I'm not going to tell you guys yet until I finish listing all the stuff and then I will put a community post or I'll tell you in a video um, and then you guys can, I'll put a link and you can go have a look see if you want anything that I've made um there's going to be quite a bit of stuff on it <laughs> I just um I've just been uploading a few pictures at a time of the stuff and then um, not doing it for a while <laughs> yeah there's so much crafts you've crafted so much items over the years and the craft room is is just we're running out of space so you know yeah thought it would be a good idea to have this website so that we can um Get rid of. Make some more crafts. Oops. Yeah, get rid of the stuff and make more, make room for more stuff. But then I'll start. Oh, okay. Then I'll start listing stuff when I make a video. If I'm going to put it on the website, then I'll tell you guys. And um, yeah, <laughs> never stays long, still for long. And what else was I going to say? I can't remember. <laughs> so I'm just gonna say goodbye now, and uh, thanks for helping me, Fabian. Yep, no worries. Don't know if I'll be in the next one, but <laughs> trust somebody will request me, right? Yeah. If it's a massive hole like this one, yeah. Um, because Rumi does not want to stay still anymore. <laughs> you want to say goodbye? Bye, Rumi. You want to say goodbye?
make sure that everybody have good. Oh my god. <laughs> no, Rumi, no. <laughs> you can have some of my place, Fabian. You have the queen of this place? No. Let's look behind those. One fry. It's funny. Are we making a mess? She's trying to eat the water. <laughs> I try to put it back. <laughs> She's like me and Thug. So cute, man. Is that good? Is that good? You enjoying that? You fall in the most awkward way to trust me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> do it, Robbie, do it. What's this bottle at me for like I'm gonna do it for you? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 